I feel like the championship pedigree really just relaxes you and you know like I'm going out there to win. There isn't any other option. I'm JaVale McGee and this is my story on greatness. Being at Golden State for two straight years and witnessing championship pedigree and the grind that it took everybody, especially the starting five, on being champions and winning as many games as we did and going out there, especially the first year, and going 16-1 in the playoffs. It was a grind. We worked every day. There was no days off. Even the days off, we were working. So it just shows you how hard and showed me how hard it really takes to be a champion. The difference in the, the Warriors culture from every other team that I played with was it was the most relaxed culture I've ever been with in my whole life. Like you would think, like a championship team, you'd be like, it would be strict, be here, be there, talk this way. But it was by far the most relaxed environment that I had been in. And they were winning the most. That's the only mentality we had through the whole series was win. Uh, do what we have to do, know what the game plan is, and, and win. Being there and seeing every day Katie and Steph shooting against each other, there's like, okay, I made 20 in a row, you gotta make 22 in a row. And just sometimes I would sit back and I would be getting my after game shots and just watch them sometimes, like these guys do not miss, but it's not for no reason. These guys work hard. These guys shoot before practice, after practice, come come in on off days. So it definitely wasn't easy for either one of us. See, the thing about it is, from the outside looking in, people think like we're in the locker room stressed and just thinking about what's going to happen and sweating, but it was just completely relaxed. I feel like the championship pedigree really just relaxes you and you know like I'm going out there to win. There isn't any other option. The first championship when we just kept sweeping people. Sweep the first round, second round, third round, and lost one game. I think it was in Cleveland. Um, it was an amazing feeling, but it, people seemed to think like it was easy, but it wasn't. Like it was hard work, and, and the passion that we put into the game was amazing, and I enjoyed every bit of it. I was blessed to have the opportunity to guard LeBron on some of the switches in, in, in the finals, and I, I did a good job, a great job, and I really appreciated the competition, like being able to say that I was in the finals guarding one of the best players in the world in one of the most important games in the world is something that will go down in history books and I'll tell my grandkids that I was able to do just because I was put in the right position from the coaches and the players and I just learned a lot from that season. The first time when the confetti fell, for me personally, it was my first time, so it was amazing. I was crying, I, I'm pretty sure I cried. I had my daughter with me, it was an amazing feeling. I really enjoyed just being there and being able to experience that with the guys. But the second time, you would think I would just be like, uh, this is another championship, but I, I experienced the exact same feeling because it wasn't easy. It was definitely harder than the first time. And for, for that experience, I feel like people were ready for us, even though they still didn't beat us. And we worked as hard as we could, and we made it happen back to back, and that's what we did.